Well, thank you, Speaker. This past weekend, I participated in a series of events celebrating International Mother Language Day. And my speech today, my member statement today, is especially important considering the apology that this House has heard uh, about Regulation 17, which prohibited Franco Ontarians from being taught in their mother language. So International Mother's Language Day was created by a Bangladeshi living in Vancouver in 1999 to promote awareness of linguistic and cultural diversity and the value of multilingualism. The choice of the date commemorates the killing of four students on February 21st, 1952, as they protested the right to speak Bangla in Dhaka, Pakistan, which eventually led to the independence of Bangladesh. The event reinforces the critical importance of language in preserving a people's culture, traditions and history. In 2009, the Ontario officially rec recognized February 21st as International Mother Language Day. So our local Bangladeshi community created a number of events to reflect the theme and I was honoured to participate in them including an open discussion on the role of language in education, integration in Canadian society and an art and poetry competition for children in the Bangladeshi community, a large rally which went to a, 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 a memorial on Danforth Avenue and a sombre yet beautiful commemoration of those who gave their lives fighting for the right to speak their mother tongue. So we are fortunate, Speaker, to live in a province where so many languages are spoken and so many cultures are sustained through the teaching and sharing of their language, including our First Nations languages. And I encourage you and this House to join me in recognition of International Mother Language Day to remember the sacrifice of those students so many years ago and to celebrate those who preserve and sustain their languages today. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.